Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to another video on UK Boost. It's been a while, hasn't it? I think last video that I uploaded were about five or six months ago, maybe. And I think I was working on the Corsa. Now, I want to explain, being very, 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 very busy. Um, some of you might have seen I have got the Corsa done. It is on the road. It's, it, it's at a stage now where we're basically running it in i've had to rebuild the engine because the engine that we had built was absolute scrap it dropped a hole on a first start um and yeah just all, all the little bits i think i left it on i'll fit in the radiator in the cooler and the oil cooler but yeah the car's done i'm with it now it is behind the camera so yeah let me show you what I have done. If you're gonna save the day And you're hearing what I say I feel your touch, a kiss It's not enough And if you believe in me Don't think my love's not real I won't take nothing less Let me tell you, you, you know I, I need a miracle, I need a miracle It's more physical what I need to feel from you Let me tell you, you, you know I, I need a miracle, I need a miracle It's more than physical So yeah, there you have it. The Corsa B is finally done. I did actually put on the YouTube. This was the year of the Corsa B because I was determined after the amount of shit that I went through last year that this car was going to be done. And it's here. It is done. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, wow, you know, I've, I've, I've done that. I've done that all myself. I've done it all myself. Well, I say I've done it all myself. Done it with a bit, bit, a bit, bit of help, a bit of help, you know, a bit of help. So I'll go through the specs, what's happened to the car, what's been done to the car, and what the future plans are with the car. But don't worry, we're not getting rid of it. Definitely not getting rid of it. It's, it's, it's keeper. This it's going to stay. It's going to stay. So first off, let's speak about the elephant in the room: the engine. Or the engine bit, or the lights, or the in there's there's a lot to go through with this car. So let's start with the engine. It is a rebuilt Saab B204 turbo, two liter. Um, it's fully rebuilt with standard parts because these engines, as a standard block, people have been sending them to the Moon as a standard block to five. Five and a half hundred horsepower with some ARP head bolts, and they've been taking it. Now, you tell me another engine. Obviously, yeah, there's exceptions. Honda, Honda Type R engines, K24s, K20s. They're similar, but name another engine like this Saab B204 that will do 500 horsepower. We're just throwing some head bolts in it. That's obviously if it hasn't already got some oil starvation issues yeah so it's a rebuilt b204 saab two liter turbo engine that's it fresh i think we've done about 220 mile on it so far just done a service that video is going to be coming out soon um but yeah so we've got the engine i hydro dipped the engine cover the di cover needs doing because it's not the best so yeah still a project Ashores is um, air filter. This is actually a Corsa VXR induction kit that's just, it just fits, just works. Crank works, manifold, cranks work, down, down pipe, true three inch exhaust system all the way to the back with a res and a back box. We've got crank works, two and a half inch top hat all the way down 
got uh, the intercooler, two and a half inch will flow more than enough. We have got a rebuilt F20 gearbox, not the best, don't know how long it's going to last but it is rebuilt and along with that we're running the Saab flywheel obviously, um, a Saab vegan pressure plate and the Helix four paddle clutch. That's about it, we're running um, hard mounts which I've made myself, I've made all these custom water lines which, who, who knew silicon lines? Was so expensive like literally all all the silicon hoses here which is next to no i've probably got about four five hundred pounds just in silicon hoses it's ridiculous got the bailey's motorsport aluminium header tank that is very rare very very rare found this strut brace painted it up and it actually clears the top mount, which it's hard to find one that clears the top mount. Um, I've made this, cut it out, out of a stencil. It's not beautiful, it's not perfect. I still need to change all these rubber bits. I'll try to work some out, but I did make a stencil, cut it out. It's just to neaten it up to hide some wires and bottle and stuff. And if I want to go electric power steering, because I might run a motor and... Yeah, we'll get to that at some point. Um, the other thing, obviously, the engine bay is pink. Painted that myself. So, you, 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 you sort of get the trend here. Everything I've done, apart from the exhaust induction kit, I've done myself. The engine, I've got to put, got to put a big shout out to Curtis Lee. Because he helped me sort the mess out that RM Conversions did. RM conversions, don't go near them, don't touch them. If you hear of Robert Myers, stay well away, he's a prick, right? And I'll say it to his fucking face, I can't wait to see him because he's a fucking prick. First start up of an engine that I paid him to rebuild, he got given a running engine, right? I had to pay for that engine, I gave him a running engine. I wanted a zero mile engine going into this car because of how far I was going with it. Came to start it up, dropped a hole. Yeah, right, cool, mate. Came down, blaming everything apart from the engine, wiring loom, injectors, whatever, mate. So, yeah, Curtis Lee came to the rescue. I built another, I bought another rebuild kit. Curtis came, he helped me time it up um, and get the head on. I sent the head off because obviously it smashed the other head to bits. Um, took all the bottom end apart checked all shells and stuff like that all seemed good um but yeah that's the story with the engine so what else has been done to this so obviously we've got cav slabs toyota r triple eights um and behind there you can't really see it but the brakes are uh v6 255 mil they are just got standard drums on the rear because I had a disc conversion on the old one. It were a bastard to set up, it just didn't want to work right. You can get them to work right, but they're a bit fiddly, it costs you a lot of money, which I don't I don't want to do. I'm just a tight Yorkshire man really. So you might be asking, so with these mods, exhaust system, manifold, stuff like that, what sort of power is it running? So at the minute it's on sort of a base map um, and it should be somewhere it came off a car that went on the dyno and it ran 330 horsepower and it it, it goes all right it does go all right um but it is going to be with, with, with the manifold and the turbo and stuff we reckon we might be somewhere up towards the 400 maybe 370 400 mark which honestly if you've ever driven all oh, around 300 horsepower that weighs about 900 kilogram you'll know that it's no joke because the sky so no we're not running the full power that this can do so if you come up next to me and i still beat you just know that it's on low boost because we haven't had it live match yet so other stuff that's been done we changed that stupid vent that was on the front it just had one vent right here um, so I ended up buying some Mark 3 Astra GSI vents, I think they are, put them on, 
people saying they should have been a bit further out but the problem is i had to line this one up with this one for this simple reason i've lifted the engine mount up so as you can see the top of the engine actually sits up into this vent which a lot of people don't notice but that's the reason why i've had to put this one where it is so it's straight um because there's there's a lot of speed bumps around where i live and i didn't want to risk hitting the exhaust um or smashing the sump to bits hence why it's not slammed on its ass now the other things looks pretty shiny doesn't it so if you've seen any shorts instagrams tiktoks what i have been putting on because i've not been putting full videos on but i've tried to still give you an inkling of what's going on with the car so i actually ended up because i was looking at it and i was thinking god look at this engine bay and i was like do i keep it looking good or what or do i keep it looking shit with a good engine bay and i was like do you know what i'll spend some time i'll i'll i'll, I'll prep it and i'll spray it so that's what i did i sprayed it in my back garden that's what i did under a little tent there's tiktoks and videos that you can see spread the full car and it's come out really good obviously yeah there's a few areas that i think could have been better but yeah it's it's good it is it's a blue and it's a pink metallic flake that's what kim wanted that's what she got because it is her car wheels obviously calf turbo uh, yeah no yeah calves calf slabs uh painted them gloss black interior hasn't changed much obviously um if you've been keeping up with the instagram tiktok i've made these pods oil pressure gauge boost pressure voltage and then obviously we've got a gps speed or just to make sure it's a bit more accurate um interior seats sport seats same as last time big dildo gear knob and then in the back strut brace cage the cage is going to be getting painted at some point um probably pink to be fair um i'm halfway through making this floor because we wanted some sort of floor I was sick of looking out i was like do i carpet the floor or do i do something different and i was like right it's sort of different it's not different but we didn't want the seats in the back obviously we want the cage we can't put seats around the cage because of how the cage is with it having the cross section in it so yeah i was like right i'll do the board we're going to put the battery in the boot if you haven't already noticed when you looked in the engine and we're not sure what we're going to cover it with we've got two choices not going to say what they are but we've got two choices of what we're going to cover this board with but i did make this little hatch as well so i also got the battery which is booted solid to the floor and i've got a little tool case because i'm a sab owner uh, ratchet set screwdrivers and just like sensors clips stuff like that just stuff that i might need whilst i'm running a car in that we've not driven and it's got basically zero miles on the engine i'll give a a little start for you lovely oil pressure But yeah, you get the idea. She's pretty fruity. She sounds good. So, yeah. So there is your walk around of my 300 plus horsepower Corsa B. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Did you think I was actually going to get it done this year? Because I didn't at one point. I didn't think I was going to get it done.
but yeah it's done so let me know what you think in the comment section i'm gonna try to get a few more videos done so keep a look out for them not gonna say when they are not gonna make no promises that you're gonna have another one tomorrow or next week because it might not happen i'm busy youtube is on the back burner now so i'm just gonna put videos up gonna spend a bit more time on editing and stuff like that the editing thing i'm gonna be using some new editing software um, instead of the old one it'll take me too long the software we're getting slow so i'm gonna be trying some new software see how we go with that so yeah like comment subscribe remember whatever you're doing today make it different see you later guys